The SAP ERP is broken up into different modules that all interact with each other to form a comprehensive solution. There are two types of modules in SAP, technical modules and functional modules. Technical modules deal with SAP infrastructure. Work done in technical modules will make sure the system runs correctly. Developing or maintaining functional applications is completed in technical modules. Because of this, most SAP end users never come in contact with any of these modules. We'll spend most of our time focusing on functional modules. Functional modules support transactions. These align with business practices. Modules have very strong integration. This means they send information between each other very efficiently. And this is one of SAP's biggest strengths. There are many functional modules in SAP. Here are some examples of the most common functional modules. OK, let's look at a very high level overview of the most important modules. The first group we'll look at are accounting modules. SAP Financial Accounting includes the general ledger, accounts payable and accounts receivable. Next is SAP Controlling. This is where profit center and cost center accounting occur. In the new S4 HANA, we combine financial accounting and controlling into one module, and we just call it S4 Finance. A third common module is Project Systems. This houses project planning, project monitoring, and project costing functionality. The next group are logistics modules. SAP Sales and Distribution has sales order processing and shipping. The SAP Materials Management module includes purchasing, inventory management and valuation. Next, SAP Production Planning includes production order processing and materials requirement planning. SAP Quality Management is where incoming, in-process and final inspections are all done, and SAP Planned Maintenance includes breakdown, predictive and preventative maintenance functions. Finally, SAP Human Capital Management, and the Human Resources area can capture the entire cycle of an employee at a company, from a new hire all the way to termination. Besides the typical functional modules, there are many industry-specific modules available in SAP as well. Modules that are industry solutions start with I and S. For example, the ISA module is built for the automotive industry, while ISIPM deals with the licensing of intellectual property. Modules that are financial services related are built for banks and insurance firms. Two examples of financial services modules are FSCM, which deals with claims management, and FSICM, which does incentive and commissions management. So that's pretty much about how we group different business activities into different modules in SAP ERP. I'll dive into the S4 Finance in the next chapter.